I would like to thank uh, the IMA and the current uh, uh, executive for giving me the opportunity to speaking on uh, the occasion of Doctor's Day, which we all know is the uh, birth and death anniversary of Dr. Uh, B.C. Roy, as Dr. Naresh Roy was telling us. And we, it is uh, good to note here that Dr. B.C. Roy was the Chief Minister of West Bengal for 14 years. And in that sense, his feat was probably greater than even Narendra Modi, though unfortunately he could not become the Prime Minister, of course. But his tenure as Chief Minister was one of the highest that India has ever seen. So, uh, my topic for today is whether... Band ho gaya hai? My topic for today is whether doctors are happy or unhappy in the current scenario. And before I start, uh, among the few people that are here, uh, can I take the liberty of uh, taking a quick poll? Uh, how many doctors here feel that they are unhappy with the profession as it currently is? Can you please uh, raise your hands if anyone here feels that they are unhappy? Okay, that's a very heartening scenario for the medical profession in Kota that most doctors are happy with their profession. But there is a lot of uh, rumbling uh, that we hear often in the media as well as among medical gatherings. And it is not as if doctors are unhappy all the time, but often when they collect in a gathering, the conversation will turn to the misery in the profession and how it is becoming increasingly difficult to practice medicine in the changing scenario. This was an editorial that was published in the British Medical Journal in 2001. This received uh, a lot of response in the medical profession and everybody uh, started following up on this theme that doctors are getting increasingly unhappy and they are getting depressed with their profession. And uh, we also need to uh, note the fact that the uh, inclination of students today towards the medical profession is decreasing as compared to the other professions. For example, the number of candidates taking the All India Engineering exam is rising at a much higher pace, uh, whereas the All India pre-medical test sometimes is even seen a decline in the number of candidates taking the exam. And even doctor kids often are not interested in becoming a doctor themselves. And when such a, such a thing is talked about, about the problems that the medical profession faces, the public reaction as expected is that doctors are making money like bandits. Uh, they often seem to think that doctors are uh, flowing in money and they only deserve scorn for earning so much and yet talking about the unhappiness and the problems of the medical profession. And then we have to answer unhappy as compared to whom? Because between the doctor and the patient, it will always be an unequal relationship. The patient is considered to be the poor, miserable, unfortunate patient who comes to the doctor only when he is in misery. And it is an unfortunate fact that our living comes out of other people being in misery and we cannot change it. So if we talk about a scientific study to validate whether doctors are truly happy or unhappy, US is the uh, country that we all follow in our modern system of medicine. And there was a study that was conducted where 24,000 physicians were uh, uh, interviewed or sent questionnaire surveys through post. And out of these 24,000, the results showed that 9 of 10 doctors among those 24,000 discouraged other people from joining the profession and 300 physicians commit suicide in the US every year. The cynical people said that they discourage others because they want less competition in the profession, but it is a fact that they uh, discourage even their own family members from joining the profession. And also medical students now opt for high paying specialties so they can retire quickly and physician MBA programs are also very popular because they provide a way for the doctors to get into management thus avoiding the hassles of practice altogether. And the causes that are often reported in the literature are that physicians are overworked and under-supported. Under-supported in the sense that most uh, practices even today all over the world are solo practices and with increasing regulations, administrative problems and paperwork to do, they feel unsupported because as it is there is a large clinical workload and to top it all they have to uh, do all these things also by themselves. The uh, working hours are extremely long for the medical profession. It is quite common for doctors in India to work for at least 10 to 12 hours a day. And then on top of it, they have emergency calls, which all means that there is less family time. Patients are having unrealistic expectations. They uh, demand more and more in terms of the availability and accessibility of the doctors at the timings of their convenience. And in the media, the stories of errors, however small they may, may be, they always outnumber tales of triumph of the medical profession. But some of these problems can be sorted out. There is no doubt that there are more administrative hassles today for practitioners and there are increasing regulations. But we can hire staff 
part time or full time depending on our practices to take care of these problems and then the media in india especially is negative in general it is not something only for the medical profession in general the newspapers are full of negative stories so that is something we have to probably live with but working hours lack of family time and increase expectations do remain a problem and along with the external problems that are causing uh, external factors that cause problems for uh, practicing physicians we cannot deny the fact that there are some problems within the profession also it is uh, considered widely that there is a poor record of the profession in giving mutual support to each other in the form of team work for example there are very few successful examples of group practice anywhere in india and even when a group starts to practice together quite often within a short span of time they fall apart or they have problems amongst themselves and cannot work cohesively together also uh, if medicine values if not competition it values success a lot and therefore uh, a bit of competition becomes inevitable rather than nurturing each other and our juniors and workaholics have always been admired in medicine right from medical college to the retirement days we always admire doctors who work extremely long hours neglecting their families and this has probably become a culture at least among the uh, doctors that are graduating now there is also a sorry fact that our national uh, leadership at the national level like the ima mci etc are not they do not have very inspiring leadership for the profession uh, we cannot really deny the existence of the elephant in the room the mci has been known and has been reported to be a den of huge corruption and this is something that we have lived with and in these kind of circumstances it is difficult to expect the uh, national leadership to do something much in the way of uh, pr uh, pr protecting our interests as a whole and also uh, with due respect to all my seniors somehow this culture has pervaded in the medical colleges that the uh, many of the previous uh, older generation doctors were considered by patients and residents to be a little authoritarian and aloof which probably helped them to maintain their distance from the emotional demands of the patients but now this uh, culture promotes the uh, that is promoted in medical colleges often the residents that come today even if they are in need of help they feel uh, a little difficult uh, to uh, ask for help from the senior doctors because the uh, answer that they often get is that in their times it used to be far more difficult with much less money so therefore this attitude has pervaded from the medical colleges and in the changing circumstances the residents find it difficult to give in that kind of extremely long working hours that the previous generation was used to giving to the medical profession and along with all this the background causes are the same that the society is changing and aggressive consumerism is not confined to patients this consumerism extends everywhere Uh, people have increased expectations in general they want extended working hours everywhere they want all their shops and malls and cinema halls and restaurants to open for extended working hours and to be available when they want it they want a doorstep conveniences and doorstep service and this probably somewhere along the line we did not do a very good job of regulating ourselves and that is why it is like doctors being unhappy and facing a lot of problems which are definitely true there are also uh, uh, articles in the medical journals from time to time which focus on the